Fairy Tale Cinderella, Friday at 9. Funding for Scholastic Scrimmage is provided in part by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. Proud to support the finest in education and in public television, we are the people of Muhlenberg College. From UGI, your natural gas company, keeping your home warm and cozy and the environment clean for over 100 years. From Mack Truck Incorporated, a leading worldwide manufacturer of heavy-duty trucks, the series is also made possible through Channel 39 School Services participating districts. WLVT-TV presents Scholastic Scrimmage, a weekly program featuring teams from Lehigh Valley High Schools in a contest of quick recall. Tonight's teams are from Stroudsburg High School and Emmaus High School. Your host for Scholastic Scrimmage is Harry Price. Good evening and welcome again to Scholastic Scrimmage. We'll meet the teams and the coaches, then we'll begin the semifinal contest. From Stroudsburg High School, we have Matt Dickey, who is a junior. Faisal Chaudhry is a junior. The captain, John Steckel, is a senior. Brett Albertson is a junior. And we have two coaches, Tara Borman, teacher of chemistry, and Hugh Montaigne, teacher of history. <laughs> From Emmaus High School, Krishna Chaudhry, who is a junior. The captain, Sean Kinsel, is a senior. Jeff Wright is a junior. Sherry Shung is a junior. And our coach is David Roper, teacher of English. <laughs> Channel 39 is pleased to announce that the Air Products Foundation will present a $2,000 scholarship award to the championship high school after the championship contest next week and a $1,000 award to the runner-up high school and the two awards will be in the names of the respective uh, Scholastic Scrimmage teams. Remember, the answers to the questions on Scholastic Scrimmage require rapid recall of factual information and aren't necessarily indicative of academic training. The rules for the contest are as follows. On toss-up questions, you'll be given 10 points for a correct answer and 10 points will be deducted in the event of an incorrect response. If you answer incorrectly, then the opposing team will have an opportunity to answer without penalty, and they'll receive five points for a correct answer in this situation. Of course, each correct answer to a toss-up question gives you the opportunity to answer a bonus question without penalty. Team members may confer only on the bonus questions, and the answers to these questions should be given to me by the two team captains. A buzzer will signal the end of the contest. If it sounds while a question is being asked, the game stops. But if it sounds while you're answering a question, you will be permitted to complete your answer. But no bonus questions will be asked. Are there any questions? If not, we'll begin with our first toss-up. We're preparing for a 10-point bonus. Here's your toss-up. Of which Central American country did Jose Napoleon Duarte? Amass, Jeff. El Salvador. Correct. He became president in 1984, and that was the question. This nation is the smallest uh, Central American country in area. It is El Salvador. And your bonus a 10-pointer for Amass. Sean, you give me the answers, please. Name each of the following U.S. presidents. The first one would be the 13th president, known as his accidency. Sean. Fillmore. Millard Fillmore is correct. Uh, he was elected vice president in 1848 and uh, became president when Zachary Taylor died in 1850, therefore his accidency. The 19th, known as the Dark Horse president. Sean? Hayes. Rutherford B. Hayes is also correct, and he beats Democrat Sam Tilden. Uh, by one electoral vote, 185 to 184, uh, when he won uh, uh, the election in the Electoral College. There were 19 contested electoral votes 
and he got all 19 of them. Going for a 15-point bonus, your toss-up. Name the legendary Irish fairy in the form of a little old man associated with shoemaking and buried treasure. Who's a mass, Sean? A uh, leprechaun? Correct, who supposedly reveals a buried crock of gold to anyone who catches him. And, of course, no one ever has caught him, I think. Here's your bonus, a 15-pointer. Again, for a mass. For five points apiece, identify each of the following. First, the fairy friend of Peter Pan. Sean? Tinkerbell. Correct. The fairy who fulfills the wishes of Cinderella and helps her win the prince. Sean? Her fairy godmother. Correct. In Shakespeare's The Tempest, the airy sprite who was Prospero's servant. No response. It would be Ariel. Ariel. Going for a 10-point bonus, and on that last bonus, Amas was awarded 10 out of 15 points. Here's your toss-up. What would you be eating if you were served sweetbreads as your main course? Uh, thymus glands or pancreas from either a, a calf or a lamb. Toss-up. For 10 points, among the six standard trigonometric functions, name one that is positive in both the first and... Amas, Krishna. Sign. You are correct. In both the first and the second quadrants, the sign or the its reciprocal, the cosecant, would also be true. Here's your bonus. On the monitor, mathematics. I want you to express the product shown on your monitor as an equivalent sum of two terms. Sean? Zero. No, it's incorrect. Uh, the product or the sum, I'm sorry, the equivalent sum would be the sine of phi plus the sine of theta. Sine of phi plus the sine of theta. Going for a 15-point bonus. Toss-up. Through which gap did Daniel Boone cut the wilderness Strasbourg Matt? Cumberland Gap. You are correct. Cut the wilderness road in 1775. And it is the Cumberland Gap. Your bonus a 15-pointer, John, for you and the team. John gives me the answers. It's a three-parter, five points apiece. Name each of the following concerning Kentucky. First, the two native Kentuckians, one who served as president of the Union, and the other the Confederacy during the Civil War. John? Uh, Jeff Davis of uh, the Confederacy and Le uh, Abraham Lincoln of uh, the Union. Correct. The Kentuckian who served as Vice President to Harry S. Truman. John. No response. Albin W. Barkley. Albin Barkley. Third, the Kentuckian who served as Vice President to James Buchanan. John. No response. John Breckenridge. One out of the three, John, for five points. Going for a ten-pointer toss-up. When his mount is slain during a battle, which character in which Shakespearean play says, A horse, a horse, a mass, Jeff? Richard III. In what play? Richard III. Okay, you are correct. Richard III in Richard III. And I wanted both the, uh, the play and the character. And it's a horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. I want you to identify each of the following concerning Richard III. First, the 1485 battle during which he was killed. It was the Battle of Bosworth Field, which was the last battle in the War of the Roses. The future king who defeated him in battle. Sean? Henry the Seventh. Correct. Who was Henry Earl of Richmond at that time? Going for a ten-point bonus. Toss up. It's on the uh, monitor of the uh, Strasbourg Faisal. Rembrandt. Incorrect. Over to Amas, and I'll read it. The artist Rembrandt, whom you see here on the uh, 
uh, monitor in one of his many self-portraits, uh, painted only one known seascape which has been prominent in the news recently. What caused this painting to be brought to the attention of the public? Jeff. It was stolen. You are correct. A few months ago it was stolen. And here's your bonus, a ten-pointer. The painting was stolen from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. In which U U.S. city is that museum located? Sean? Boston. Correct. Houses one of America's major collections of European art. Going for a ten-point bonus. In chemistry, what is the name for the smallest particle that shows... Salzburg, Brett. Adam. Incorrect. Over to Emmaus. In chemistry, what is the name for the smallest particle that shows all the properties of the compound? Sean? Molecule. Molecule is correct. You got five on the rebound. Here's your bonus, a ten-pointer. For five points apiece, identify each of the following. First, the number of oxygen and carbon atoms in a carbon dioxide molecule. One carbon, two oxygen. Sean? One carbon, two oxygen. Correct. Uh, the number of hydrogen and nitrogen atoms in an ammonia molecule. Ammonia is an H3. Yeah. Sean? Three hydrogen and one nitrogen. Correct, NH3. Going for a 15-pointer. Toss up. How many centimeters in length is two meters? Strasburg, Faisal. 200 centimeters. Correct. And your bonus, a 15-pointer. Five points apiece, John. I want you to provide each of the following. First, the sum of the numbers appearing on the buttons of a push-button telephone. 10, 45. John. 45. Correct. If the average of a set of numbers is 10, and their sum is 200. The number of numbers there are in the set. John. 20. Correct. Yes. The sum of the degree measures of two complementary angles. 90. John. 90. Correct. You've got your 15. Toss up. Looking at again at a 15 pointer. In which U.S. city was the Navy Memorial dedicated in October 1987? The lone sailor, standing seven feet tall and weighing one ton, was created by sculptor Stanley Blyfield as a lasting symbol. Again, the Navy Memorial, it's in Washington, D.C. Toss up. What type of subordinate clause is used in the following sentence? Velasquez, whose work influenced the French Impressionists, was a well-known Spanish realist. Amas, Krishna. Adjective? You are correct. Bonus 15-pointer. For five points apiece, identify the following, each of which concerns the letter I. The Latin for the abbreviation IE and the English translation. Sean? Id S, it means that is. Correct. The meaning of I, F, S on military radar. Military radar? Sean? In flight failure. Incorrect. It's identification, friend or foe. And finally, the meaning of I, F, O, the opposite of U, F, O. Sean? Identified flying object. Correct. You have two out of the three for ten. Going for another ten-point bonus. Name the primary metal taken from ore called galena. Strasburg, Matt. Lead. PBS is the chief ore of lead, PBS being galena. Here's your bonus, ten-pointer. For five points each, name the primary metal taken from each of the following. First, hematite. Iron? Uh, yeah. John? Iron. Iron? You are correct, iron. Cinnabar. Mercury. Mercury. John? Mercury. You are correct again. Going for a ten-pointer on the monitor there. This diagram is deliberately distorted. If it were accurately drawn, which segment would be the longest? Strasburg, Faisal. DC? You are correct, or CD. Bonus, 10-pointer for uh, Stroudsburg. It's a two-part mathematical bonus question. Suppose that a line segment is drawn from the, or drawn in the XY plane from the origin to the point X is equal to 3, Y is equal to 4. 
x is equal to 3, y is equal to 4. For five points each, first, what is the slope of the line segment? John? Four thirds. Correct. What is the length five. of the line segment? John? Five. And you are correct on that also, so you have your 10 points. Going for a 15-pointer, toss up. Which two rivers in Asia joined to form the Strasbourg Brett? Tigris and Euphrates. And they formed the Shat al uh, Arab Waterway. And it, you are correct. And your bonus of 15 point or five points apiece. Name each of the following. This is for Strasbourg. The body of water into which the Shat al Arab flows. That's John? Persian Gulf. Correct. The largest city in Iraq. One located on the Tigris River. John? Baghdad. Correct. The country in whose mountains the Tigris arises. Turkey. Turkey. John? Turkey. You are correct. South of the Taurus Mountains in Turkey. Toss up, going for a ten pointer. They were called heretics by the Orthodox party who only broke their eggs at the little end. Name this group of. Emmaus, Jeff. Uh, um. No response. No response. Over to Strasbourg, and I'll complete it. They were called heretics by the Orthodox party who only broke their eggs at the little end. Name this group of heretics created by Jonathan Swift. Matt. The Lilliputians. Incorrect. They were called the Big Endians, and it is from Gulliver's Travels. Uh, Toss-up, looking at a ten-point bonus. For ten points, in humans, where is gastric juice secreted? And they ask Krishna. The stomach. Correct, in the walls of the stomach. Your bonus, a ten-pointer. Certain kinds of islands, such as those that enclose Pamlico Sound at Cape Hatteras, have no connection with the mainland. What is the correct name for these long, detached, sandy beaches? Sean? Hooks. Incorrect. They're called barrier islands or barrier beaches, but not barrier reefs. Here's your toss-up on the monitor there. I want you to solve for x the equation, the quantity 2x plus 5, and ask Sherry. 2. x is equal to 2 is correct. Uh, that's the quantity 2x plus 5 to the 1 half power is equal to 3. Bonus 4 mass. Again, a two-part mathematical. You'll receive five points for each correct answer, and here it goes. If one card is drawn at random from a standard deck of 52 cards, what is the probability that it will be a red queen? Sean? One out of 26. Correct. What is the probability that it will be any face card? Sean? 1 in 13. No, incorrect. Uh, it would be uh, reduced. It would be 3 out of 13. Going for a 15-pointer. Toss-up. Of which state is the Roadrunner state bird? The Strasburg, Matt. New Mexico. Correct. The state's flag is the ancient sun symbol of the Zia Pueblo Indians in red on a yellow field, and it is New Mexico. Here's your bonus, a 15-pointer for Strasburg. Again, five points apiece. Name the state for each of the following state birds. First, Oriole. Maryland. Maryland. No buzzer won't work. A buzzer won't work, John. Maryland. Give it to me. Maryland. You are correct. Maryland. You are correct, John. You said Maryland, and it is the Baltimore Oriole. Second, the Blue Hen Chicken. John? Michigan. No, it's uh, Delaware. Uh, Delaware. Delaware Blue Hens. Carolina Wren. North Carolina. John. N North Carolina? Uh, the correct answer was given. It was South Carolina, but I'll take your answer. It's North Carolina. Uh, it, South Carolina is the correct answer. You've got one out of the three for five points. Going for a ten pointer. For ten points, no correcting yourself once you've begun. Uh, I want you to spell this word, which is from the doctrine that nothing exists or can be known, and it's nihilistic. Strasburg, Faisal. N-I-H-I-L-I-S-T-I-C. You are correct. Bonus, a ten-pointer for Strasburg. 
You're going to receive 10 points after the first clue and 5 points if you can get it after the second clue. First, and this is which American novelist am I? Here's your first clue. I wrote the trilogy of Desire, or Cowperwood trilogy, comprised of the novel, The Financier, The Titan, and The Stoic. The Titan, don't know. Don't know. John? Don't know. Uh, second clue. My story of Clyde Griffiths, who's executed for the murder of his pregnant girlfriend, Roberta Alden, is entitled An American Tragedy. Oh, Theodore Dreiser. 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 John? Dreiser? You are correct. Theodore Dreiser. You got five. Going for a ten-pointer. Toss-up. It's a listening multiple choice, so I want you to listen to the excerpt. <laughs> Symphony number no. three in F major. Strasberg Faisal. Brahms. You are correct. Uh, it was composed in 1883. Which one of the following was the composer? And Johannes Brahms is certainly among that list. He did compose it. You are correct. Your bonus, a ten point or five points apiece. Identify each of the following concerning classical music. First, the piece of music that introduces another piece or part. Prelude. Prelude. John? Prelude. Prelude is correct. And second, the solo composition written primarily for the organ and harpsichord and using full chords and running passages. John? Fugue? Incorrect. It would be Toccata. Five points you have received on the bonus. Going for a ten-pointer. Here's your toss-up. A boat sailing due west from Ireland would first make land in what country? Strasbourg, Brett. Canada. You are correct. Your bonus, a ten-pointer. Name each of the following for five points apiece. The country in which Mecca and Medina are located. Saudi Arabia. John? Saudi Arabia. Correct. The three people who emerged unharmed after being bound Sh and thrown Shadrach, into Shadrach, a fire Meshach furnace. And Shad, Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach and Abednego. And Abednego. You are correct. For disobeying King Nebuchadnezzar's command to worship a golden image. Here's your toss-up, going for a ten-pointer. The Irish name for fairies was she, S-H-E-E. -E. What did they call a female spirit who wails? Strasbourg, Brett. Banshee. Correct, who wails to foretell death. I want you to name each of the following as your bonus, ten-pointer, from the Bible. First, the one who escaped from the belly of a whale after three Jonah. days and nights. John? Jonah. Correct. The leader of the group of eight who escaped the deluge. Ishmael. John? Ishmael? No, it would be Noah. Noah, his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives. Going for a ten-point bonus toss-up. Distance is a scalar quantity which measures the length of a path of a moving object from one point to another. What measure is the vector quantity for this measurement? A mass, Sherry. Velocity. Incorrect. Over to Strasbourg. Is that this a question? It was completed. No response, judges? Okay. Faisal? A distance and magnitude. In uh, incorrect. It's displacement. Let's go on with another toss-up. It's a conjecture in the theory of numbers that every natural number is the sum of two prime numbers. For ten points, give me any of the combinations of two prime numbers that add up to 34. Strasbourg, Faisal. Oh, uh, 11 and 23. You are correct. That's one of them. 5, 29, 3, 31, and 17, 17. It's a mathematical bonus question on the uh, monitor. The hyperbola, x squared minus y squared is equal to 1, intersects the circle x squared plus y squared is equal to 7 at exactly one point in the first quadrant. For five points each, give me the coordinates x and y of that intersection in the first quadrant. John, quickly, Eight. please. X equals square root of 2. X equals square root of 2 over 2. Y equals square root of 7. Y equals square root of 7. No, I think uh, this is a bonus. It's X is equal to 2, and Y would be the square root of 3. <laughs> Another toss-up. To which department of the U.S. government does the Internal Revenue Service amass Krishna? Interior. 
Incorrect. Over to Strasburg. I've got two lights on. John, yours is on first. Hit. Treasury? Department of the Treasury is correct. It, Internal Revenue Service belongs to the Department of the Treasury. Bonus of 15 point or five points apiece. Name each of the following concerning Iowa. The two explorers who first saw the Iowa region. Faisal? Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark is incorrect. First saw the Iowa region on June 17. They first saw uh, the Iowa region on June 17, 1673, when they paddled their canoes down the Wisconsin River, and it would be Louis Joliet and Father Jacques Marquette. That's the final buzzer. You want me to go on and ask? Okay. Number two, the frontiersman born in Scott County, Iowa, whose real name was William Frederick Cody. John? Buffalo, Buffalo Bill Cody. Correct. The physicist born in Mount Pleasant, Iowa, after whom two zones of electrically charged particles that surround the Earth are named. Van Allen. Van Allen. John? Van Allen. James Alfred Van Allen is correct. And the Van Allen belts are named after him. And that's the final buzzer. The final score is 190 for Strasburg and 110 for Emmaus. Well, Amass, uh, your team is always outstanding in scholastic scrimmage, and uh, you, your coach, uh, Mr. Roper, have a lot to be proud of. I'm, I'm sorry that you, you didn't win. Somebody has to lose, and they're both two great teams. Uh, we want to wish uh, Sean success in college. The young team, Krishna, Jeff, Sherry, we hope we see you back here again next year. Strasburg, we want to congratulate you. You're going to be in the championship contest next week, and uh, your... Uh, Opponents for that championship contest will be Parkland High School. Uh, this is Harry Price. Thank you for being with us, and good night. Please join us next week for the one-hour championship contest. Scholastic Scrimmage is provided in part by the Air Products Foundation. The foundation is supported by donations from Air Products and Chemicals Incorporated as a charitable organization whose contributions provide support for educational, cultural, health, and community programs in the Lehigh Valley. Proud to support the finest in education and in public television, we are the people of Muhlenberg College. From UGI, your natural gas company, keeping your home warm and cozy and the environment clean for over 100 years. From Mack Truck Incorporated, a leading worldwide manufacturer of heavy-duty trucks, the series is also made possible through Channel 32.